Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a coffee machine on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make the script, I just want to show you how it works. And just a little heads up, this is more of an advanced script and it'll be a longer video. So if you don't want to watch the whole thing and follow along, feel free to just download the model in the description. So if we go into the game, this is a coffee machine. So as you'll see, all we have to do is come over here and we will grab a cup and it gives us the cup in our inventory. And if we put it underneath the machine, it puts the cup down, fills it up, and it gives it back to us. Okay, so this isn't a building tutorial, but I am going to show you how to build this too because I just want to do it completely from scratch. Uh, so let's get right into it. So the first thing that we have to do is actually make our coffee cup. So to do that, I'm going to create a new cylinder right here. And we'll rotate it just like that. Whoops. Uh, I will set the material to smooth plastic and make it white. And I do not know the exact size of this cup, so I do just want to kind of model it after this. And of course, you guys can just get the model in the description. That's no problem. You won't have to model it if you don't want to. But if you do decide you want to make your own or you want to customize it, of course, then you can just, you know, make your own and then follow the tutorial from there. Uh, and I think that should be about the right size. If we just move it over just a little bit. Yeah, it seems about right. Uh, and let's just get the height correct if we look. So we'll just move it down, scale it, about right there. Okay. So now we have a sphere or a cylinder, but we actually need to hollow it out. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to duplicate this part using, or I'm on Mac, so Command D, but you'd use Control D if you're on Windows. Uh, and then I'm just going to set the size. So right now it's, so I'm just going to change it to 1.0, 0 0.9, and 0 0.7, just to make it a little bit smaller. Uh, and then I'll move it up, and you'll see that it'll take up about the whole area of the cup. Duplicate this, because we need it for later to actually uh, make the coffee. Uh, and then I will make this a negative part, and then I will union these together again, just like this. You see we have a nice empty cup. Uh, and then if I just grab this right here, because this was the exact size of the inside, uh, if I move this down just a little, change the color to brown, uh, and I think that looks like a pretty good coffee cup. So now what we have to do is we're going to actually make the coffee cup into a tool so that the player can hold it. Um, and the way we do that is so you know every tool has to have a handle. So we'll create a tool in Workspace and we can just name this cup and then if we just grab this and this you see right here this this part right here is the mug so we'll name it mug and then this is the union part that's actually I'm sorry I'm wrong the union parts the mug and the center part is actually the coffee itself uh, so we have that and then we need to weld these together because uh, tools can't be anchored or else the player would go flying uh, so we'll weld them and make sure they're both unanchored which they are perfect uh, and we'll just change the name of the mug to handle because it needs everything needs to have a handle uh, all tools and I have this plugin right here it's called tool grip editor it's by clone trooper uh, 1019 uh, and this will just ensure that you know instead of the coffee cup coming like this what we do is we can actually rotate it uh, so that the tool will be gripped in the correct manner uh, just so that you know we don't have to worry about messing with all of these things right here it'll be gripped perfectly when we use it uh, so if we just click off of that we can put the cup in starter pack and as you'll see if we go right into the game it should you know give us the cup tool and it should look right yep just like that so we have the cup it's a little far back but that's okay we can always fix that later so now we have the cup and it actually the coffee in it is uh, not transparent you can actually see it but we don't want that we just want it to be a cup right now so we'll set the transparency to one um, and now what we actually need to do is make something that will give the cup to the player so we need to make a cup giver so as you see uh, when I showed in the beginning uh, the model this is what I use this cup giver um, and I'll, I will actually 
make one of those again just so you can see how I made it. So what I did is I copied these, the ones that we just put in starter pack, uh, and I will move them down so that they're in the right spot, just like this. And you know, since it's a cup and it's not a full cup, we actually don't need this coffee part on the inside. We only need the outside. And we'll just leave that name to handle, and we don't need the weld, but it should be anchored. And we'll move that over here. And then we should also have a give part. So this is what the player will click uh, to ensure that they actually get the cup, and it'll have a click detector inside. So the way I'll do that is I'll actually just create a new block. Uh, and it will be transparent in the end, but for now, just so we can see where it should be, I'll just leave it non-transparent. And this kind of acts as like a bounding box for the cup, so it should go right up to the edges on both sides, maybe a little bit more. There we go. A little bit more there and there. So however big this is, wherever this part is, this is what the player is going to click, not the actual cup itself. So if we set the transparency on that to 1, and we can just name that give part. And now what we will do is we'll group these and we'll name it cup giver just like we did before uh, and we will add a click detector to this give part so that we can actually handle the click you know when player clicks on click then we actually give them the cup so now we can actually create this script uh, inside the cup giver that will you know, give the player the cup but before we do that what we're actually going to need to do is set this cup right here we're going to set the parent to replicated storage and I'll delete my old one um, and the reason for that is because we have to make a clone of the cup so we need we need an example cup somewhere so we can clone it into the player's backpack so we have that there we can name this script give script and then inside of here this is actually going to have the code that says when the click detector is clicked actually give the player the cup. So what we're gonna say is probably actually let me look at the other script real quick. So yeah first we wanted to find the give part so local give part equals script dot parent dot give part. That's what it is, right? It's the give part. It's the actual thing that the player clicks in order for the cup to be given to them. After that we will get the click detector so local click detector that's what we just created equals give part dot click detector uh, and then after that we will actually get a reference to the cup not a clone but the cup itself so say local cup equals game dot replicated storage dot cup and now we actually need to handle the click so what, the way we do that is we use the event uh, on click we catch into that so we say click detector dot on click and then we want to connect that to a function just like this and then we want to say player who clicked we need to get the player who actually clicked it and then after that you see right here we, yeah, we have print clicked in the old one but we don't even need to say that we can just get rid of that line we need to clone the cup from the replicated storage so we say local cup clone equals cup clone clone and then we need to set the parent of that cup clone to the player's backpack so that'll make sure player who click dot backpack that'll ensure that they actually get the cup so we can test that out I think it should work um, Oh, and it looks like we do have an error. On click is not a valid member of click detector. Oh, it's mouse click. I'm sorry, not on click. I'm used to doing uh, the GUI events. So if we go back in, you'll see right here, if we just go right on over to our new cup, the second we click it, there we go, we got our cup. Empty, right? Nothing in it yet, but that means it's time to actually make our coffee machine now. So. I actually, I, I'm not going to go through modeling this whole machine just because it is, I mean, I'm not a good builder as you can see, but it is just a little bit more advanced. Um, so I'll get rid of the script, I'll just clone the machine. Uh, and you can always, again, you can use the model that's in the description if you just want it to work right away, if you don't want to follow through. Um, or you can make your own model too. So what this machine consists of, the only part that you need for sure is a fake cup and I'll show you what that looks like. It's basically just this cup right here, cloned, 
with the coffee inside of it. And this is what's going to get shown when they put down the cup. This gets set to transparency zero so that it looks like, the, oh, okay, I put my cup down and then it's going to come back to me. Uh, so you need a fake cup and then you also need a touch part, name touch part. Uh, and this is what the coffee cup, the empty cup is actually going to touch. So whenever that's touched, we want to fill it up. Uh, so let's actually, we can make our script in here and we will name it give script. And we can actually look at my other one, my the old coffee machine, to figure out what we have to do. So you can pause the video here and copy it down or I can walk you through it too. So we're going to say local coffee machine equals script.parent. So the coffee machine equals this model right here, coffee machine. Uh, and then the touch part is going to be this, right? The touch part, the part that the coffee cup is actually going to touch. So local touch part equals coffee machine dot touch part. After that, we need to define the fake cup. So the visual aspect that they'll see, local fake cup equals coffee machine dot fake cup. Uh, and then from there, we actually can handle the touch. So we're going to say touch part, which is this touch part dot touched. And then we're going to connect that to a function. And then we're going to get inside of there, we're going to get the part that touched. So we will just name that part that touched. And in this case, the part that touched will be the handle or the give part. You know, you don't necessarily know which one because Roblox is kind of finicky like that. But it'll be one of these and the parent will actually be the cup. So uh, we will just say local cup equals part that touch dot parent as I was explaining because it's the handle uh, and then the the character the player's character is actually the parent of that so whenever you have a tool equipped the cup actually or the tool that you have equipped actually goes underneath your character model instead of underneath your backpack so that's how we can get an easy reference to the player from the tool so we'll just say local character equals cup dot parent uh, and then from there we can actually decide is it a cup or not because right now it could be a bird that touched it it could be a banana that touched it it could be anything that touched it we don't necessarily know that it's a cup yet so we actually have to check so we'll say if cup dot name is equal to cup because we need to see is it a cup if it is, if it is a cup, then we need to fill it up. So we will say cup.parent equals game.replicated storage. What that does is because as I said before, when the cup's in your player's character, it'll get shown as in your hand. But if you set the parent to anything else, it won't be actually attached to your hand anymore. It'll be dropped or it'll be put somewhere else. So when we set that cup's parent to replicated storage, it basically acts like the cup is disappearing. From there, we need to set the fake cup transparency to zero. So transparency equals zero. And that'll make the cup that's down here, the fake one, visible so that it looks like it's kind of animating, like, okay, we put down the cup. Uh, we're gonna wait one second just so that they can see like, okay, my cup's down because we don't want it going down and coming right back up. There'd be no point in that. So we want to wait a second so that the player can see, okay, I put my cup down. Um, from there, we will actually give them back their cup and we will set the fake cup to invisible again. So fake cup dot transparency equals one. Uh, and then we will set the cup parent to the player's character again. Parent equals character. We will set the transparency of the coffee in the cup to zero. So it looks like they actually filled it up. So cup dot coffee dot transparency equals zero and finally we will set the cup name to coffee so that they can't refill it again because it's still named cup that wouldn't make any sense uh, so cup dot name equals coffee and that should be good uh, let's test it out and we, we can see uh, so all we have to do is go in and we will use the tool giver we gave before the cup giver to get ourselves a cup and we'll touch that touch part It'll put it down, give it back to us, and we have a nice full cup of coffee. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. 
As always, I'll have the Pastebin link and the Roblox model link in the description of this video, and I'll see you guys later.